After the war, Germany was split up into four zones, each separated from the others by political and economic barriers. Almost immediately, Russia drew a curtain of secrecy between the other zones and her own. Behind this curtain, the Red Army began ruling Eastern Germany in a way to leave no doubt as to who lost the war. As conquerors, the Russians are treating the Germans with the calculated severity due an enemy people. The inhabitants of the Russian zone are deprived of contact with the democratic world of Western Europe. For Russian plans envision a new Germany reorganized and disciplined to close and useful cooperation with the Kremlin. The policy of the Russian military government is to get as much out of the occupied country as possible, to confiscate as reparations what is useful and movable, to buy up control of whatever must be left behind, and to make the economy of the territory conform to the Russian system. Large private estates have been broken up into small farms. On these, thousands of Germans have gone to work producing food for themselves and for the Russians. Billions of dollars worth of industrial equipment has been dismantled and moved piecemeal to Russia to help compensate for Russian industries destroyed by the Germans. Hundreds of millions of dollars more in reparations have come from consumer goods industries the Russians left intact, such as the famed Dresden China Works. Employing Nazis and non-Nazis alike, the Russians have been more successful in restoring production in the industries remaining than the government of any of the other zones.